Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! I'm going to show you the different types of milling machines. But before that, may I ask you what do you know about milling machine? Milling machine is a machine tool used to produce accurately machined surfaces such as flats, angular, grooves, cams, contours, gears, and sprocket feet, helical grooves, and accurately sized holes. Milling operations are performed by feeding the workpiece into a revolving cutting tool called the milling cutter, which could have one or more cutting edges. And the shape of the milling cutter will determine the shape of the finished surface. Yeah. Now, there are two distinct types of milling machines. The bed type, which has a vertical adjustment of the spindle, and the knee and column type, which has a vertical adjustment of the work table. And each type is made in many modifications and several sizes. And I want to show you first the knee and column type milling and some of its modifications or basic styles. The plane knee and column type, other known as horizontal plane milling machine, has longitudinal, transverse, or cross feeds and vertical table feed. Its distinguishing feature is that the table cannot be swiveled. The universal knee and column type milling machine has all the table feeds of the horizontal plane milling machine. In addition, however, each table can be swiveled at an angle to the column face. It is perhaps the most versatile milling machine and can be adapted to perform many jobs by the use of a variety of attachments. The universal milling machine was invented in 1862 by Joseph R. Brown, one of the founders of Brown & Sharp Manufacturing Company. A vertical milling machine has basically the same parts as a horizontal plane milling machine. Instead of the cutter fitting into a horizontal spindle, it fits into a vertical spindle. On most machines, the head can be swiveled 90 degrees to either side of the center line for the drilling of angular holes and the milling of angular surfaces and slots. The vertical milling machine is especially useful for operations such as face and end milling, drilling, boring, jig boring, and cutting keyways, dovetails, and T-slots. I would like to show you some of the modifications of vertical milling machine. First is the ram type or turret type vertical milling machine. The ram of the machine can be adjusted rear to front or front to rear and can be swiveled in horizontal plane either side to increase its capacity and versatility. Another ram type or turret head vertical milling machine which has two swiveling movements on its vertical head. This is also known as the bridge port type. Its head can be tilted side to side and front to back. This gives the vertical version great flexibility in maneuvering the cutting tool to reshape a workpiece. Another modification of the vertical milling is the C-frame type which has either fixed spindle head or adjustable in height and the spindle head is usually gear driven which makes starger than a turret. They are big and perfect for accomplishing heavy duty tasks. The next distinct type of milling machines 
are the bed type, also known as manufacturing type milling machines. These machines are comparatively large, heavy, and rigid, and differ from the knee and column type milling machines. The table is directly mounted on fixed bed. They are specially designed for continuous operation on medium to large size parts. The following are the basic styles of the bed type or manufacturing type milling machines. The simplex bed type, the cutter is mounted on the spindle head which can travel vertically on the column. The next is the duplex bed type. The duplex milling machine have double spindle heads, one on each side of the table. And the triplex bed type, which have three spindle heads, one on each side of the table, and the third one is mounted on the cross rail. Another is the planar milling machine, which is mostly used for facing operation in mass production. This machine can be mounted with various cutters and spindle heads. The spindle heads are adjustable in the vertical and transverse directions. This machine has a cross rail which can be raised or lowered carrying the cutters. The spindle heads and the saddles are supported by rigid upright posts. This arrangement of driving multiple cutter spindles enables a number of work surfaces to be machined, thereby it obtains a great reduction in production time. Aside from the two distinct types of milling machines, I would like to include and show you some of the special type milling machines. The special type milling machines are completely different in design and construction from the conventional milling machines. They are built in pantograph milling machine, profile milling machine, and the CNC milling machine. The pantograph milling machine replicates the workpiece at any preferred scale of pre-decided model. It allows the size of the workpiece reproduced to be smaller than, equal to, or greater than the size of a template. Also used for the different model for special purposes. A pantograph is a mechanism that is generally constructed of four bars or links which are connected in the form of a parallelogram. Pantograph machines are available in two-dimensional and three-dimensional models. The two-dimensional pantograph is used for engraving letters or other designs, whereas three-dimensional models are employed for copying any shape and contour of the workpiece. Another special type milling machine is the profile milling machine, which can be used to duplicate the full size of the template attached to the machine. Here, the spindle and the cutter can be adjusted vertically and horizontally across the table. A hardened guide pin regulates the movement of the cutter. The longitudinal movement of the table and the crosswise movement of the cutter head allows the movement of the guide pin on the template. In appearance, it resembles the vertical spindle machine. It is one to four cutter spindles. The cutter is a small diameter shank type end mill. Its movement is controlled either by hand or automatically by the path of a stylus or tracer which has the same diameter and shape as the cutter. In this machine, the operation is performed in two dimensions. A good commercial finish and a tolerance of within 0.1 millimeter can be expected from this machine. And the last special type is the CNC milling machine. The CNC milling machine or computer numerical controlled milling, which is the latest innovation of milling machines. It employs computerized controls and rotating multipoint cutting tools to progressively remove material from the workpiece and produce a variety of custom designed parts or products. Additional knowledge. 
The milling machine was invented by Eli Whitney in the year 1800s. The exact year he began using his revolutionary new machine is somewhat uncertain. But since the first recorded reference to it dates back to 1818, historians use that year as an acceptable approximation. This is according to the Machining Reference Handbook by Arthur R. Meyers and Thomas J. Slatery.